for the Summer of Community Builders 2009. We are focusing and researching on food justice and we are also discussing the problem of food deserts. If I want to go get a bottle of water or something, it's higher than popper juice. By making our discoveries, we partnered with Free Spirit Media to produce a documentary that would get our voices heard and show the community that the youth are concerned with issues in the neighborhood. The grocery stores don't put their stores in certain neighborhoods because they people well, they probably don't know that the neighborhood is bad. They probably hear that this neighborhood is bad, so don't put your store in there because such and such happen when they really don't know. I will emphasize that not everybody in the food desert is poor, and not all these areas are poor. Another um, issue is what we call agglomeration. It's kind of a big clunky word, but basically a, agglomeration means that retail attracts retail and like attracts like. The other retailers might think, well, I don't know if I'd go to that place because if it was a great market, it would have been discovered already. I have to go outside my community to do my grocery shopping. Certain communities in Chicago and other urban areas, they're definitely underserved. There aren't enough grocery stores that offer fresh produce and there really aren't enough grocery stores, period. It's, it's food deserts. We don't have food areas in our, in our community that we can just go to. Do you know what a food desert is? No. A food desert? A food desert. No. No. A food dessert? Food desert. Oh, uh, no, I do not. After getting familiar with the issue, we created several questions to produce a survey. Then we distributed them to the community. While researching, we noticed that the North Lawndale is facing a food desert because of the lack of grocery stores in that area. letters, talk to the people in my community and explain to them why this needs to change, like, you know, what you guys are doing now, interviewing, you know, come up with programs, really reach out to my people, and write to the congressmen, congresswomen, congresspeople, and tell my voice is heard. Sometimes we think of a, a solution to a problem and we think that we have the only answer, then, you know, usually there are three, other, three to four others who are already working on the problem, but they're also working on it alone. My name is Shaquita and I work at the Green Youth Farm and today we have a market. We are selling radishes, collard greens, cucumbers, carrots. I think that if we know how to grow our own food and where our food comes from and what goes into growing our own food, that it just teaches people how to be more responsible and aware. Some people, like myself, don't know that much about vegetables and all the plants. The Green Youth Farm just goes ahead and teach people about the plant they're interested about. And I feel like we can make a change if everybody get their voice heard. One person can make a change, but if we come together, then that's a different story. You have to get involved to make things work. But if we came together as a whole, we would be awesome over here. We really would. We think that it's important for us to let the people in the community know more about food deserts because if they knew, then they would strive to get better food access. I think the people in the North Lawndale community should know more about the organizations that sell and produce organic food so they can learn to make healthier food choices. We need the community to be more aware to the access we have already. So sampling the healthy food choices these places sell will help them realize that there are better choices than junk food in our community. If you have healthy foods in your community, then you will eat healthy. If it's not available, they're not going to eat it. That's when I decided to become a community builder. We're trying to get better grocery stores and things of that nature.